Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. And challenger Ian Butterfield appears. And if you've ever wanted to see all your favorite Nintendo characters punch each other in the face, then we got the game for you because today we're playing PlayStation Battle Royale. No, we're playing. <laughs> no, nobody's playing that. <laughs> Nobody at all. We are playing Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 64. Woo! Yes. This is a great game. Spoilers. Is uh in Japan is actually known as Nintendo All-Star Dairanto Smash Brothers. That that's pretty wordy. Yes. Yeah, but of course, this is uh, the work of uh, Masahiro Sakurai and, uh, I forget what is, what is his first name, Satoru Iwata. They actually uh, started the promo, the prototype, together. Uh, Sakurai came out with the idea. I know uh, Sakurai, of course, uh, used to work for HAL. Mm. Uh, I believe he was actually hired. Famously created Kirby. Yes, I believe he was actually hired by Iwata. At the very least, Iwata was his first boss. So, you know, they knew each other because, you know, he was... Uh, I don't know. I feel like he worked at some kind of Japanese pizza shop before this. Maybe. it was Pro but Probably his not first, his first boss. His first video game boss. There his, we yes, go. His first uh, boss in the video game industry was Satoru Iwata. Final boss. Yes. Yeah, so they, uh, they worked together on this. They kind of wanted to do... Uh, there was a... Uh, they kind of tried to do things that were different. Uh, this is, uh, I was going to go ahead and admit it right from the start. I got 90% of this information, perhaps even 95%, is from Iwata Asks on Nintendo's website. The great interviews. It's definitely one of the many things people are going to miss about Iwata is uh, all the insights into development he gave with the Iwata Asks. But there's a, there's a quote from him that I really like. He says, uh, back in the days that we worked at HAL Laboratory, we used to say that we won't stand a chance if we do what Miyamoto-san might do. So let's do something he wouldn't, right? So yeah, they tried to, you know, tried to like not do the same thing that uh, Nintendo was doing, even though they were very close to Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Kind of tried to take a different tack. So the idea of Smash Brothers is they wanted a game that was just easy to pick up and play. And it pretty much is. Yeah, they wanted something where people could just be having fun in the first ten minutes. Yeah, they it were, is pretty uh, fun. Yeah, at the time, uh, like when Sakurai first got into the industry, you know, he was playing a lot of the games that were out there, and it struck him that most of them weren't really made for beginning players. They were looking at like the existing audience. They were just making harder and more complicated, and like trying to just make really tough games that would really challenge people who've been playing games from the start. And he thought, you know, that's that's uh, that kind of uh, seems like kind of a problem. Let's make something a little yeah, more accessible. Like, you know, Sakurai is saying that, you know, when he makes games, he doesn't think about what do I want to play. He just thinks about, well, what were our customers want to play? So, whereas, you know, whereas a lot of other people were like, you know, was, I just made the game I wanted to play. That's not his philosophy toward making games. Yeah, so, you know, they, uh, and I mean, and exactly, you mentioned he was creative of Kirby, and that's the same thing they did with Kirby, is they tried to make a game it was easy for first-time players to get into. And, I mean, in our episode of Kirby, we beat it in one we, run. Yeah, we beat the entire game. So. Yeah. <laughs> the it's, first Kirby, at least. Yeah, it's it's not... Uh, they're a little more complicated nowadays. Yeah, they're... Uh, I mean, but they're pretty... Triple Deluxe has all accessible. sorts of little combo moves and whatnot mm. when you, like, practice. But were there, there are games where you can beat it easily, but all the more challenging content is, like, bonuses and stuff that you don't have to do. But yeah. if you want, like... If you felt like the game is too easy, you can go for all these optional goals, which I think is like really goals. Yes, which I think is a uh, really interesting design. But they were they were working on the prototype. Uh, you know, Sakurai had come up with the idea. He wanted something that would be an alternative to the two D fighters of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Wada was thinking about having something uh, a good four player game that made use of uh, the analog stick on the N sixty four controller. And, you know, Sakurai came to, the, to Iwata with the idea, and Iwata was like, yes, this is really good. I want you to get started working on it right away. 
But the problem is, you know, they were both busy with other projects, so they basically had to like kind of work on this prototype uh, alongside the other all the other work they had to do. Mm. But since Iwata, you know, wanted to kind of encourage him and keep him like getting to definitely work on this thing, he actually said like, "I'll do the programming." So like, you know, in spare time on the weekends, Iwata was like actually programming the demo himself because um, dedication. For, yeah. People who don't know, Iwata actually came up as a programmer. Part of uh, part of uh, Hal's close relationship with N Nintendo was that when the uh, Famicom, the Japanese version of the NES, uh, first came out, like around 83, they were working on that. The processor they used wasn't actually very common in Japan. I think it's uh, 6502, something like that. It's it's a processor from from uh, Rico. Who, FN 2187. Yeah, who people will probably be more familiar with as a camera manufacturer, but. Uh, the chip wasn't very common in uh, Japanese like home computers and things like that. So there weren't a lot of programmers around that knew how it worked. But uh, Satoru Iwata, you know, the kind of computers he'd been working on like as a kid, he got a pro computer that was based on the same, at least the same family of chips. So he was actually very familiar with it. And of course, he was a very talented programmer. So they're like, you oh, know, we got this Iwata kid who can, uh, who, <laughs> you know. Hey, oh, we to... got this kid here. Yeah. His name is Iwata. He uh, he knows how to program on the chip, yeah. Yeah, so you know he's he was somebody that had the expertise that they needed, and that's kind the, of the Italian mob helped to uh, yeah, get you know. the N sixty four off yeah. the ground. There you go. Hey, oh, but you know back in the eighties, but he, the process is up in here. He he knew how to get that thing to work, and I mean we mentioned in our Pokemon special, like the guy who read through the source code for Pokemon Red and Green. It was like, and he's the one that A figured out how to uh, move, port the battle system to the N64, and B like did a lot of cleanup so they could uh, localize it for the U.S. So Awada was like great programmer, and he was uh, he was handling uh, the programming for it. Well, Sakurai was like you know doing design and character work and modeling, and they didn't name him, but apparently they had someone else helping out with sound. We'll call him. Dean. Dean, there you go. Ooh, brought up a new name. That's nice. Yes. Yeah. So the prototype was called Cocktail Game Ruo, which is uh, Dragon King the Fighting Game. This is how, how Nintendo translated it. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't use existing characters at the time. It was going to be like an original game. And the funny thing is uh, the name actually came from the fact that... Uh, HAL Laboratories headquarters that they were working at was in the uh, Ryo Cho neighborhood in uh, Yamanishi, or sorry, Yamanashi Pre Prefecture. And they actually like just went outside and took a picture and used that as a background. Ah! So basically, I'm saying is the name Ruo is the name of the neighborhood they were in. Ah, I see. Yes. Okay. So they had a picture of like their actual surroundings as, as like the background in the prototype. Oh, that's fun. And it was just like you know, it was fun because you know they could be, if you wrote the name differently, it becomes Dragon King. Or maybe it's written the same. I don't. I, I don't know. We barely speak English. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm I'm having trouble with it right now. <laughs> but. Uh, Basically, uh, Sakurai, the reason that he asked for permission to use Nintendo characters was because he wanted to be able to uh, establish the atmosphere of the game. You know, like, uh, the way he put it was, uh, in an arcade fighting game, um, you don't really care why you're in Ken are fighting. It's like you're just focused on the gameplay because you're putting in a court and you're playing, playing the game for 10 minutes. Yeah. So, so kind of the same idea. You don't care why so, Mario and yeah. Kirby are going at it. Yeah. You just want to it's fight. Like, Street Fighter has a story, but most people are like, Street Fighter has a story, who cares? <laughs> but he felt with, like, with a home game where you're spending a lot more time, you know, he needed to be able to like, establish what's going on, and he felt like it'd be a shortcut to do that would be to use like, existing characters people were already familiar with. It's like, you know, it's like, you don't like have to... Like Mario. Yeah, like Mario and Pikachu and a certain... Tickle Pop. Yeah, a certain uh, round pink guy who inhales things. Me on Thursdays? <laughs> uh, well, maybe in the latest one where you can use me fighters. 
But he thought it was more more important to uh, kind of set that up, so he wanted to use the have Nintendo Mi- characters to do that. Have Mickey Mouse join the fight? Ho ho! Yes. Yeah, maybe the next one. I don't know. I'm gonna kick your butt, Mario. Ho ho! Yeah, but uh, before I move, I did uh, want to point out, like, now, you remember in Brawl they introduced the Smash Ball? Yes. That was actually an idea that Sakurai had for the original game, and they never implemented. They actually uh, recorded voice that they would later use when they added the uh, smash attacks. The, not the smash attacks, but the uh, wow, the smash ball attacks, which I have a name that is just Finishers? Narwhals? <laughs> yeah. Final smash. Final smash. Final smash attacks. Final smash. Yeah, so there's audio and some of which is actually you can find like in using the debug mode in the the original N64 version audio was used in Brawl for the Final Smash attacks. Hmm. Yeah, they used a bunch of stuff they recorded back then because he like had the idea, but they didn't actually end up doing it until two, ga- two games later. Supposedly you can find Mew. Uh, you, I don't know. I'm just making things up. I'm, I'm actually hmm. thinking he might be in one of the backgrounds. It's possible. Yeah. Just kind of floating around like, Mew, I'm Mew. Yeah, it's interesting, but like, you know, Sakurai was uh, talking about how he, someone, or rather, uh, why I was talking about Sakurai was someone he trusted to develop games because he's someone who is very good at um, prototyping them in his head. You know, like basically like working through all the details before they even like actually start programming the game. And they kind of discussed uh, Sakurai's design philosophy a bit, in that uh, what he likes to do is kind of like strip a game down to like just the core of the game. Like you know, like what's what's the fun element of this game was the most basic thing the jumping yeah that you need well like in Mario game that might yeah might be jumping that's a, that's a good example and then he'll like you know take that core of the game and he'll, <laughs> he'll build something new around it you, you know what the best part about the Kirby game is hmm. how much it sucks ah uh, <sighs> yeah cause that's his main power yeah so you know with that, I mean, Sakurai was doing the same thing. With he looked at fighting games and like, what's what's the important part of fighting games? You know, Punch. how can I how can I take the, this this basic element and build something new around it? And that's you know kind of how we kept the Smash Brothers. In fact, like you know, Smash Brothers has the the system where as characters take more damage, they fly further. Mm. Right. So Sakurai felt like the the thing that he really liked about fighting games. He didn't really like combos and things like that. And the health bar. Yeah. Even though he was somebody that was actually good enough that. Well, he you know a while was like, oh, I think you could do that stuff. He's like, I not really. I not, wasn't that great. But uh, he didn't like the mechanical complexity. He liked. Uh, they translated it as ad libbing, but I think, a, I feel like a better word would probably be improvisation. Well, ad lib, make, yeah. make it up, improv. Yeah, he liked you know the way that in different situations you would react in different ways, and kind of like having to adjust what you're doing based on the situation. So, he actually created the cumulative damage way as a way of making sure the situation constantly changed, so you couldn't just have like an optimal combo that you do over and over again. Because suddenly you're a lot more likely to fly off the stage if yeah, you put you, yourself in, at a, vul- that, in a vulnerable course, state. What your opponent is doing is going to change because he's going to fly further and further away every time you hit him. So you constantly have to modify your strategy. And, and they're going to be trying to hit harder and harder the yeah. more you're damaged. And that's something that, you know, that's the way he gave to get people to just constantly be changing the strategy. And like just adapting to the circumstances. You know, and when the game first came out, uh, I, they felt kind of like they had some trouble communicating it. Like people didn't really get what it was because they were kind of looking at it through the lens of existing fighting games. So what they actually did is they they started off the Smash Brothers Dojo website. And I know if you 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 paid attention to uh, the marketing campaigns for later Smash games, it's something they still do. Is they have like the web like the Smash official website where, like Sakurai himself will write blog posts and like give out little bits of details. And they started that with the N64 game to kind of explain things and give people an idea of what this new, different fighting game was like. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so that's that's something that uh, they did then that uh, they brought forward. And the last little tidbit, uh, 
well, actually a couple of different ones, but uh, this one's something I actually didn't get from Iwata Ass. Uh, there was an interview with uh, Miyamoto, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and uh, Sakurai, where they were talking about when the, uh, they were doing like a, something of a round table and doing questions about various Nintendo games. So they, I think they had Brawl coming out and they were talking about Smash a bit. And uh, Miyamoto mentioned that uh, at the time, of their first Smash Brothers, Sakurai had wanted to do like really deep single player mode. Mm -hmm. And Miyamoto was telling him like, you know, like, no, we have lots of deep single player modes. Why don't you just focus on the multiplayer, you know, get the game out. And you know, that'll be, be a multiplayer focused game. And, and Sakurai was like, well, I still want to do single player. So it got like the single player modes it has now. And it's like... Subspace Emissary. Yeah, you know, they would eventually do that with Brawl. Yeah. You get the deep modes that he wanted. But, you know, Miyamoto wanted, wanted him to get the game finished, and he wanted him to focus on uh, multiplayer. So that's, I guess it's kind of Miyamoto's influence that the game is so much more uh, multiplayer focused in, mm. the, in the first installment. And lastly, uh, there had actually been a, a poll for, like, a popular characters to add in the game. And after the results came in, uh, Sakurai actually revealed that uh, several of the top placers had been considered for the game. Uh, originally, at some point, they were considering putting Bowser, King DDD, and Mewtwo in the original Smash Brothers. But uh, I know, like you know, I was looking at sites where they have cut content and things that have been found in the game mm -hmm. from that aren't actually playable. And none of that, there isn't anything in there for any of those characters. So they probably were cut pretty early in production. They were cut more in concept stage. Probably. Yeah, they were like, you know, we're not gonna be able to fit these guys in. They didn't even start on. So that's neat. You know, it's really interesting concept. Uh, in game but I think to really understand Smash like they were saying you have to play it so, so let's fight yeah let's do it right now Whee! Nintendo 64 Hal Laboratories oh yes there we go here's the mighty master hand oops spoilers ah uh, yes the uh, the great theory that actually this entire game takes place just in the bedroom. There. Is it really a theory where they're explicitly showing you him picking up the uh, the uh, toy and having Well, it yeah, life? but like the theory goes really, really deep. Oh. It didn't like uh, Game Theory do a whole thing where he uh, he posited that the whole thing was like a, a metaphor for Sakurai's relationship with the series. Something like that. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> Pikachu. Yeah. That's so funny because, like, he's, I mean, he's actually supposed to be kind of tiny, isn't he? He's an electric mouse. I mean, I think he's only about a foot tall. Yeah. If I had my phone on me, I'd look him up in the Google Pokedex. Yeah, that's... Do you know Google is a Pokedex now? Hmm. If you, like... I think I remember that, yes. If you Google a Pokemon, it'll come up with, like, a Pokedex entry. Interesting. So actually, before we uh, go too far past it, I will mention you just noticed that there were the, since all the secret characters have been unlocked, you see them in the opening. Uh, before you unlock them, you only get uh, silhouettes. Actually, yeah, I like that, that right from the start, they actually had uh, this demo here, which kind of shows you the controls, which is fun. And of course, you uh, it's interesting that you, you, you jump Actually, it's just like uh, standard fighting games. You actually jump by hitting up on the controller. That was kind of uh, thinking of it more like a platformer. That was a little weird when I think when I first played it. I, I wanted it to have a jump button. I know I would like a lot when I played melee. I used I used the button instead of uh, pressing up to jump. Mm. So this is kind of like plat part platformer. I felt that it was a bit more natural. This one's interesting, and I think I'm not super up with it. People have talked about this game has more combos than uh, later games. You can like it has something of a combo system where the later games kind of don't really. I think that might be melee because melee is the one that they still use for like competitive games. Yeah, they do. It's uh, it's pretty crazy community. No items, final destination. Pretty much. Uh, like my favorite is. I do, see, I like 
um, as far as my smash, when I play Smash, the way I like to play it is uh, just maximum chaos. So all items on high. I like all four only, players. I like Pokeballs on high. There you go. So it's maximum Poke chaos. Okay. And now they have Master Balls in the yeah, newest one yeah, yeah. that unleash, uh, that are more likely to unleash like legendary Pokemon. Nice. So it's kind of awesome. So I just, before we do matches, because we can probably spend some time, a bunch of time doing matches, but uh, let's do a quick look at the bonus games. I, then probably not even going to worry about finishing it, but we'll just, I don't know, whatever. I'm actually going to look at that dog Pikachu supposed to be. It's bothering me. Yeah, so, you know, you got to hit the targets. You just got to run and hit the targets as fast as you can. You're timed. You're going to have to get the best performance you can. Oops. I blew it. Whatever. Hit the targets. That's how it goes. Another that. Bonus two. Good old standard Mario. Why not? Is, yes, you have to uh, jump on these platforms. Woo! Jumping. Yep. I'm back. It's what he's good at. Look at you. Oh, awkward. Okay, let's see how tall a Pikachu is supposed to be. Oops, I blew it again. Whatever. Anyhow, there you go. There are your bonus modes. One foot four inches. They're uh, they're a good break, but really, the heart and soul of Super Smash Brothers is versus mode. Is let's just beat the holy hell out of each other. Yes. All right, so uh, what do I have? Let's, let's quick look what I have the options on. Handicap is off. Team, yeah, we're not teaming up. Okay, yeah, so this would be if you're playing team mode, you can't hit each other. Ah. Stage select on, item switch, item switch. Appearance, everything is on. Uh, appearance is middle. Do you want to turn up items? Oh, or high. Hitting? We need high. Very high. I, I mean, I would very much enjoy if one of these matches we did a, a very high Pokeball only. Hmm. Don't have to necessarily start with that, so we because okay. we got to show off some stuff. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. We definitely want to see as many items as possible, though. So we'll we'll have but, them, we'll have it on very high. But I like very high Pokeball. It just gets insane. Yeah. Do we want to time it? Uh, you know, or, time is pretty much the standard knockout. way. So we'll we'll do at least one time. I mean, you know, actually, let's do a stock battle to start with, and the rest of them can be time. Okay. Stock battles are popular, so what we'll, do we want to uh, do for stock? Uh, we'll just three Chicken, is fine. Chicken, default. Fish, yeah, yeah. shrimp. There you go. Though we will throw in some computer players. Oh. I want to be Kirby. Uh, Kirby's a good choice. Oh, no. Who do I want to be? Uh, you know. Can I? How do I? Do I change? Can I change colors or outfits? I think with it's with the C buttons. Ha! Uh, you know, I'll start with good old... Reliable, uh, medium of the road, Mario. Mario. Here we Ooh, get let's, stages. Let's find somewhere fun. Yes. Uh, Saffron City. Have, sure. Why not? I do believe we have all the stages. Another game I bought used, though. Uh, though I uh, did uh, when I rented the game back in the day, unlock quite a few things on my own. Oh, watch Ow. out. Here's the home run bet. Charmander! Oh. Awkward. Home run bet, of course, is pretty powerful. Now, think about Smash. He's got a really simple control scheme. But now I have a helmet. Oh, I don't have a helmet. Nope. Right. Oh, it just got wrecked up by, uh... Ah! Oh dear. Boing, boing, boing. Oh dear. This is one of the things I love oh about dear. Kirby. So you oh can just dear. float. Yes. Boing. I He's have super light. I have taken a lot oh, of damage. I got knocked right into Snorlax. Oh, oh, oh. Did and I get I, the Pokeball? Tell me I, I Oh, really? Oh, uh, you got, got Goldeen. Wow. Ah. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch out for Samus. She's got her uh, maximum attack charged up. So something I always liked is uh, 
is beating people with Pokeballs. Yes. You know, because then you smack them and then the Pokemon comes out. And they're like, oh no, things have happened. Like, yeah, oh, I, I picked up the uh, paper fan without realizing it. I will hit Donkey Kong with it. Oh, oh no, you stole my ability to throw fireballs. Oh, more or less borrowed. All right, so this is uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't remember. Um, I love I love how coins come out when Mario does his uh, uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> but this is before they added the side special. Hoisted by my own baton. Yes. Yeah, so you only have the two attacks. So if I remember... Uh, Ow! There we go, yes. Oh, no! But this uh -oh. is... Uh, yeah, they just yeah. to change it. Screw you, Samus. Love being people oh. with item containers. Oh, no! It rebounded and ended up on my platform. Oh, dear. I seem to have finished myself. And yeah, me too. Because, uh... I thought I was uh, I thought I was closer to that ledge and I didn't grab it. Alrighty, so the computer beat us. Jeez, it's almost as if the computer is built to win. Yes. I'm going to win. Yeah, I don't know what difficulty is that. Three. Three. So let's let's go back though. We're gonna ah switch to. Oh. I'm not touching anything right now. Stick is uh, acting up here. There we go. Time. I like time because nobody's ever out of the match. You know? Yes. And now I'll, uh, I think uh, I generally, I used to play Pikachu a lot, but I also like Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon, I believe, is the fastest character in the game. And we'll just, uh, we'll switch these guys on and off to get another random character. Groovy. Yeah, so three minutes. Random. Random it up. All right, so it looks like we're in the Legend of Zelda stage. Yeah, downside of the Falcon Punch is it takes a while to charge up. The fun thing is you can start in the air so you can, like, land and hit people with the Falcon Punch. So it's interesting, like, he's, like, oh. like a super high-speed character, but he, uh... Ah! I don't know how to save myself from death over the edge. Well, you can uh, grab the ledge. Oh, I missed. <gasps> Invincibility! I'm testing Falcon Bunches here because no one can stop me. Oh, right on his head. Remember, you got uh, three ways to, you know, of course, you can, uh, you got your double jump to start your recovery. Ooh, watch out, proximity mines. Those were actually, uh, the proximity mines, I believe, are from, uh, ouch. Perfect Dark. But, what they did is, uh, after, uh, after Nintendo sold Rare, and they didn't have the uh, the rights to uh, Perfect Dark anymore, they uh, uh. changed the design of the proximity mines. Can make it back up. I don't. I, I don't know how to play this game. Like really, I don't know what it is about the N64. I am just horrible at playing games on it. Hmm. Controller is a bit unusual. Out of my way, Yoshi. I want that item. Oh, it's a home run bat. Oh, you're invincible. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, dear. That's quite a battle. Yes. <gasps> hammer time! Donkey Kong hammer, baby. 
<laughs> invincibility. Oh, invincibility. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hammer time did not work out for me. Oh. Why is there a whirlwind? I don't know. Stage hazard. Ah, I just got an assist from Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. What up, guys? Is uh, as I recall, actually, she. It didn't work out for me. Oh, time's up. Time up. Oh, uh, I did. I did horrible. Oh, I did. Good for me. I'm way in the back. Yeah, you're negative three. So much shame. It makes you feel better. Yoshi's at negative two, so you didn't didn't lose by much. I lost by all of it. I need tequila. Uh, we should we should do an all Pokeball all Pokeball match? match. Okay. Uh, one thing they did add later on, which is useful, is uh, the ability to turn all items on or off, like at once. Uh, that is case, useful. Let's, uh, let's uh, Pokemon it up. Oh, wait, there's only two Pokemon in this one, I forgot. I don't want to face Kirby because it's going to get confusing. Yeah, no, I can do that. Actually, uh, you know, why don't you, uh, instead of Mario, do uh, Luigi? Here, actually, let me. Ah, Luigi, because we already had Mario. Alright. So. Ah! Uh, oh well. It's appropriate. Though I do want to play in the Super Mario stage at least once because it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Ow! I made with the die. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I got put to sleep though. You're damn right you did. Kiddo. You know, Pikachu is getting old. It was, it was time for him to go. Jigglypuff gets knocked out really easily. Yes, that is Jigglypuff's weakness. Because you got uh, Ness, who's a really technical character. He's got to save himself with a, with a PK hammer. Oh, that one. Charizard! Yes! I love the horrible that got graphics of the, of the Pokemon. <laughs> du, 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 du. It's interesting that you can always get containers, no matter how what your item settings are. Oh, dear. I almost ran right in, yeah, I almost ran. Oh, man, it's hilarious. Uh, Three Pokeballs! Pikachu can, like, barely lift it. I don't know why I just stopped moving. Uh, you probably got caught in, uh, the smoke from... Oh, that's right, it's Quick Attack, okay. Probably got caught in the smoke from, uh... From coughing. Pick up the atom, thank you. Blast it. Ooh. Oh, oh, I just like pimp smacked you from yeah, down no. below. You got me. I think, uh, yeah, did you do rest? I don't know. That is the power of rest. I don't even know how to rest. I think it's as easy. I think it's uh, her down B. Oh dear. Oh no, it's there you. It's super annoying. Oh, I don't know who's who's uh Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I love how uh, Chansey spawned there too. Yeah, that's fine. You think you're running away? Oh, it was uh this is a uh, Clefairy. Haha, <laughs> I just like, I put Ness to sleep and then knocked him off the map. The fairy doing nothing. That was beautiful. Oh my god. So much Poke Chaos. It is, it's kinda, it's kinda crazy. I guess this must be your like ideal match, right? Yes. Oh, I can't even see myself. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I, can... I died so many. Yeah. Walker. 
Oh, did I only... Uh, I came in second! Yeah, good work. <laughs> Didn't completely fail. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to show off? We can uh, show off Fox. Yeah, no, I mean, we'll play a couple... I mean, we've... We definitely have time for at least one more match, but uh, let's let's turn turn uh, other items back on. Ah uh, yes. On on on. Wing wing. You don't like my sound effects? Yeah. Actually, you know what? We should show off a team battle. Time team? Yes. There we go. And we will we will be on the team. Yeah, Pikachu's hat. Yes, Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu has a hat. Uh, really? Actually, uh, hold on. Who haven't we seen? Uh, Star Fox. Uh, Star Fox. Are you playing Star Fox. Fox? Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, this doesn't have a very large roster. Though, uh, actually, before I forget, Luigi Ness, Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff are your hidden characters that you have to unlock. Ah. Uh, I mean, we saw a CPU Samus, but... Uh, we saw a CPU Ness. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really feel up to playing as Ness. I think I will lose pretty badly. So Shall we do lasers versus a monkey and a puff? Mm, sounds good. I'll be uh, I'll be CPU Samus. And I, I don't know. I feel like uh, yeah. Who else? I mean, whatever. That's fine. Okay. So I do definitely want to play the Mushroom Kingdom stage. That is the hidden stage that you have to unlock. Ah. I like it a lot. See, so this is kind of based on Super Mario Brothers one. We got uh, cool thing about Samus is she can uh, charge up her blaster for a super powerful attack. Also, something to watch Woo! out with uh, Donkey Kong. Oh, sh Nikes. He can also do that. He can charge up his. Uh, oh dear. He can charge up his uh, his uh, big punch attack. So you gotta gotta be careful with that. Pokeball, no! Oh, that there you go. that broke. Yep, that's a little risky. I'm doing really bad. Yeah. You know, it occurs to me we've completely forgotten to do here. We haven't thrown anybody. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I think it's... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. uh, I hit the thing. Yeah, but I, I also died, so it's not... Well, you, you should have not died. Well, I... Know, was I mean, that was real the plan, simple. but... You know, the yeah. uh, best laid plans and all that. Yes, it is the R, R button to throw. So we should probably do that, because that is the technique in the game. Uh, of course, uh, Samus has a pretty long one, because she's uh, used the grapple beam. Pew, pew, pew. And just, just like your standard fighting games, the, uh, the throw is uh, unblockable. Ooh, Maxim Tomato. I will take that. Thank you. I'm just shooting them. Oh, I blew up the bomb. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. All right. I think it's... Oh, uh, somebody hit the power... I had a power block or something? That was me. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, awkward. Kirby. Awkward. Ger Jigglypuff. Go away. Ha 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 ha. DK died. Yes. Pew, pew, no. Pew, pew, no. Pew, yeah, see, see, we can't pew. damage each other, so we, we, we can team up. It's a good time. <laughs> Donkey Kong's not having a good time over there. No. Alright, that's, that's right. I can also, uh, I can, uh, uh drop some bombs. Uh, oh. Pew, pew. <laughs> oh, I'm over here. Oh, oh dear. I almost made a very, uh, very bad mistake. And I'm going to Jigglypuff oh, is no. not having a good time right now. Something set off. Yeah, something set off that. Uh, something set off the uh, bomb on there, and I got blown up. I was about to pick it up carefully, and something set it off. <laughs> I knocked both of them off the map with yes. the power thing. So as you can see, you can you can charge up, you can hold it. Yeah. The, P block is actually uh, all the way from the original Mario Brothers. Oh! You will recall we briefly played it while we were playing Super Mario All Stars. Is yes. that power block and you can just knock everything off? And we win. Hey, yeah. I I was like first or place. Yeah, you did good. You're the only one with a positive score. Ian did the goods. Good work, Ian.
All right, so yeah, Smash Brothers. That's the Smash yeah. Brothers. About as much as we can show off in the original one. So there you go, Super Smash Brothers. That's I mean, fun. Yeah, the first, yeah, it's so much it, fun it, to it, say. It, 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 it's, it's hard to be so enthralled when, you know, it's just the two of us playing yeah. and it's a very limited roster compared to what we're used to. Oh, absolutely. To. But it's Super Smash Brothers. You can only, yeah, you can only fit so much in the N64 cart. I mean, there are some gameplay differences, which I've never been hardcore enough to... Yeah. No, I'm, there are like, people out there, there that are people can tell that are you. Like, oh my God, there's like a point oh one second they can be like, difference this... on how much you can recover. Well, not just that, but you know, like different gameplay systems. And I'm sure yeah. there are serious Smash players that can tell you what changed exactly between yeah. game and game. I, you know, I don't effort. Yeah, it's I don't have effort. a. I like to just play Smash as like Maximum Chaos for people. Yeah. As many players as possible, tons of items, everything crazy, just things exploding. At it. You never know what's going to happen because it's it's totally random. That's and, why I love Pokeball Chaos. Yeah, just because each what's going on right now. Yeah, each Pokeball does, you know, different things. Yeah, you never, especially nowadays with the Master Balls, they just have so many Pokeballs oh yeah. in there. So now. There's just so much crazy going on. They've massively increased the amount of Pokemon. They have stuff like assist trophies. It's uh, yeah. It's maximum chaos. I don't want to. Definitely don't want to though disrespect the people who play competitive melee. Yeah, I because mean that is your bag, and that is not the way I like to play. But I absolutely respect the amount of skill and effort that they put into the game. Just a little too much effort for my taste. For I like mean, anything. if you, it's it's can be hard to tell sometimes just watching it but if you actually look at the kind of like movements that are necessary to do the advanced techniques that they use yeah, it requires absurd. like like ridiculous amounts of muscle memory and hand speed and yeah I, my fingers people are like i don't think my fingers are fast enough to do that stuff. Like, except it's all completely intentional and they know what they're doing and please don't drop my controller. It's not well, that I easy dropped to get it very in. lightly. Yes. I didn't actually drop it. It was very controlled. <laughs> okay, good. Because I, I, I don't want to try I and find this. another N64 controller at this point in time. I got this. <laughs> Come on now. Pretty sure but, they still manufacture them. Do they? I don't know. I mean, I imagine you can there's get, still you a market for You can get GameCube it. controllers. Nintendo uh, put those back to, into... Uh, I don't know. I feel they like put those back into production for Smash Brothers. Yeah. They just made them white and slapped Wii on it. Yeah, because uh, serious Smash players love their GameCube controllers. Actually, I, I enjoy it more yeah. than the Wiimote controls. No, oh, yeah, you do not want to play that with a Wiimote control. No. You can't you can't get the Smash no. attacks out when you want to. No. That's not good. I, we, we, I think we got a little too, too much into it instead of, like, analyzing the game we were just playing. <laughs> but, uh, but how do you analyze? Smash Bros. You just play it. It's a fun game. Uh, it's you fun. Know, you probably want to just, uh, the difference between regular attacks and smash attacks. You know, yeah. Smash attacks are what you use to knock people off the off the. Uh, yeah. We did put it in the entire tutorial, so that will explain the difference. To and you. I mean, you you saw how moves can work out. Mm -hmm. Where like I was standing there on that one building, and I used um, Sing and got Ness to fall asleep, and then I literally just yeah. punched him. Yeah, like those, once, and he just kind of ah. Uh, there are all kinds huh? of tricks. There are all kinds of tricks like that. Uh, one of the uh, tricks that always used to drive people crazy is uh, playing as Yoshi. You oh, grab people, turn people into an egg, and the egg falls off and they die. Like uh, playing as Kirby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. There's uh, Donkey Kong's like suicide attack because he can basically he can pick guys up and walk around with them for, for his throw. And so if you're like up on stocks, you can just pick them up and just jump off the stage. And if you throw them down, they'll die first, so you'll get the point. Yeah, but even if you don't, like the you know, if, like again, if you're up on stocks, then you can just take them with you, and there's no way for them to escape. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of like fun strategy. Who th thought I would get a RoboCop reference I, in there? I buy that for a dollar. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. This one is, is light, a lot lighter on options than the later games. Yes. So I'm not sure if I recommend the original Smash. For nostalgia's sake. It's, it's fun for nostalgia's sake. It is something that's easy to get because it has been released on virtual console. Yeah. And virtual console games actually run a little better than the original N64 games. I mean, when you're looking for the maximum chaos, just get whatever version get is compatible one. with the 
system, system you have. have. Yeah, I mean, Melee is the most enduring game. Uh, definitely, probably has the most depth. But they just put Mewtwo out on Wii U. They put they put that one out on that one, and yeah. they put out Bayonetta on that yeah, one. Yeah, if you have a Wii U, I mean, the, and uh, you the can Wii play U eight must players. Be it's got yeah once. And, yeah, and special well, they have specialty maps for that, but it's it's pretty crazy. Imagine eight players, very high Pokeballs. Yeah, no, they they have online with Charizard, with Pikachu, Lucario, freaking. I think so Brawl you, had some problems, but I mean, if you have a Wii U, I think you're you're good with the Wii U one. I, I even I, the tournament players are good with that I, one. I enjoyed Brawl because the Pokemon trainer, yeah, where you could play as Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. Yeah, so you had all sorts of different options. And my favorite thing was to just get someone trapped where there was two walls, no. and then use Squirtle's uh, spin attack, his rapid spin, because you just go around like the mm. shell. It's got a lot more uh, single player content too, so that's yeah. Good like if you don't actually content. have people to play with, yeah, though, really smashes. It's a multiplayer. It's a experience. multiplayer game. You want to play with other people. You want all the people. Yes. Even if you hate your neighbor, get your neighbor to come over. <laughs> You're like, Smash damn Brothers. it, Steve, we're, we're playing Smash Brothers. Yeah, though I, I, I like some of the characters they had in Brawl. But it definitely had some uh, some balance problems. Like, apparently, Meta Knight is just un- practically yeah. unstoppable. Though, I don't know, maybe I'm not up on it and somebody's better than him now. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Well, no one expects a Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> and oh, yeah. yeah, Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, Smash Brothers. Uh, but yeah, I didn't. Also, I didn't really like tripping. What? Tripping in Brawl. You will randomly trip occasionally. I don't think I ever noticed that. Yeah, sometimes your characters just trip for no reason. It's random. It's kind of lame. I'm, I'm not a big fan. Yeah. No. So I'm not big into that, but I don't know. I think you can have fun with any Smash Brothers, especially if oh, you're yeah. playing casually. I mean, if you want to get serious, Melee, probably your best bet, followed and by Wii U. if you're having a party, a few friends over, and you're 21 and over, a few drinks, some Smash Bros, that's yeah, but, a good night. Yeah, if you're just partying, any Smash Brothers will do you. Oh, yeah. Just get the one with the most characters, why not? Just whatever you can get. Yeah. Most characters, most controllers. Yeah, exactly. You know? And have a few shots of tequila yeah. and... I Get think it's a great series. I think they did a great job of making it accessible to anybody and everybody. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you, the more experience you have with it, the better you're going to play it. Yeah, like any game, there's skill involved, absolutely. I accidentally, I was at uh, a retro game store in our local mall here, and they were playing Smash Bros. I think uh, I think it was GameCube 1. Mm. I think it was Melee. And um, I was just like, hey, you guys mind if I join in? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. And it was like people I had never met before yeah. uh but yeah no i was like ah, i haven't played smash for a while mm-hmm. so so i'll probably suck at this yeah i proceeded to beat them four matches in a row oh i i used to play i used to play it at work constantly with one of my co-workers you know we we'd, we'd often have shifts together so we just we just play smash brothers like unless a customer came in in which case we'd put the controllers behind the counter and help the customer and hey what's going on once the store was empty again we go back to playing smash brothers <laughs> so we, play, not, right? we, we played tons of Smash. Uh, actually, one thing I should mention that it didn't come out in this video since everything is already unlocked. Well, something I like about Smash Brothers is that there are single player ways to unlock things, but you can also unlock everything by playing multiplayer. They're like, once you get to certain match milestones, things will be unlocked. Oh, that's good. And actually, uh, the more players you have, the more it counts. So, like, if you have uh, four human players, it counts as four matches. Oh. So the more people you get together, the faster you can unlock things. And you don't actually necessarily have to spend a bunch of time in single player. You can unlock things by playing lots with your friends. So I think that's a really cool feature. Yeah. Uh, really cool decision. It's groovy. Yeah. So we like Smash Brothers. We think you'll like it too. We recommend it. If pick for up some something. reason yeah, you're yeah, watching this video series. and haven't played a Smash Brothers ever, like... I it could happen, I, re- I, guess. I really feel like I feel like yeah, that's probably a low our, percentage. Our, our audience has played. We're Smash probably Brothers. preaching to the choir here. We're like, yeah. hey, Smash Brothers is good. Like we know that's why we're watching the video. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hey, everybody knows Smash Brothers is good. You should play. It. There you go. Look at you. And if you like seeing us play Smash Brothers, make sure you give this video a like. If you want to check out future episodes, maybe we'll play Smash Brothers Melee sometime. For Smash? We'll certainly, we'll certainly play other Nintendo games and games on other systems and 
they may also be games you're interested in. So you want to make sure you know whenever we have a new episode out. And the way to do that is to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Other than that, I have been Dan Mastriani. You can find me on Twitter at, at NewTypeCola. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at Ian G. Butterfield. Mm-hmm. Find our show at RetroGamesCNCT. We are on Tumblr, RetroGamesConnect.tumblr.com, Facebook.com, backslash RetroGameConnect. Connect with us. Talk to us. Discuss Smash Bros. Discuss your pets. I don't know. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. We're here. Yeah, there's media. Yeah. It is social. Use it in that way. We, we have... They've comments on the video. Smartphones. We get yeah. comments and whatnot. Oh, we'll know. Right to our phones. We'll so know. We have it on us. Yes. You know. Keep track. I mean, unless you're on like some really crazy time zone that's completely different than us. And we might not know for around 12 hours or something like that. Who knows? Well, I also have two jobs. Yeah. So, you yeah. know. So, I mean, you know, but we, we try. We, we uh, oh keep in contact. Oh, my God, do I try? Yes. All the time. But I think the most important thing to remember is to join us next time on Retro Game Connect. Mario. It's me.